What's good everyone? It's Chambers from ChambersMixed.com. New placements came out. Um, Mooski's album just dropped. It's called Melodic Therapy for the Broken. I did three songs on that album. I did Priority, Melodic Therapy, and Rocket. So go check that out. And also, thank you to everyone who's been signing up for my exclusive online course. That means a lot. I dropped it about two weeks ago, and so far we've had a bunch of people signing up. For those of you who don't know, it's ChambersCourses.com. I'm offering exclusive content that you can't find on my YouTube through a monthly subscription. So basically, I have a ton of videos out right now for people who are just joining and each month more content is added kind of like how netflix works i got content about music theory about production mixing structuring i got placement breakdowns coming up i got secret drum kits and midi kits coming up that you can only get through this online class and i'm really going in depth with what i'm teaching more than i do with youtube videos to really teach producers that want to take their craft to the next level so yeah secure your spot in my exclusive online class at chamberscourses.com link in the description and in the comment section for you for today's video we're going to be going over the best 808 tricks and techniques that industry producers are using. Pretty much what I have right here, I made this beat and got this melody here with a piano. Now we're gonna be focusing on the 808 for this video and I made four separate 808 patterns and each of them have different tricks and techniques used in them that I'm about to go over for you. For the drums in this video, I'm using my undeniable drum kit on my website, chambersmixedit.com slash sound kits. These are pretty much the best drums, the go-to drums that I use every time for trap music. You know, we got 808s, we got claps, we got hi-hats, we got kicks, open hi-hats, percussion, and snares. For the 808 in this video, I'm using 808 number eight. All the sounds in the kit are already mixed and run through analog outboard gear, so you're getting the best quality quality sound possible. Let's get into the first pattern and let's hear what it sounds like. So with the 808 soloed, the root note is C, so we're staying in that note. The main skill that I'm using for this pattern is what I call the hold technique. It's pretty much able to hold the 808 out for as long as you want for different amounts of time. To do the technique, you got to go into the sampler. You want to go into the envelope tab over here and pretty much you drop everything, all of these knobs down except for the hold. So that allows you to hold out your 808 for as long as you want instead of it having release like this. See how it kind of trails out? If you cut the release, you can hold the 808 out for a specific amount of time. So what I'm doing right here is I'm doing like this four count and I could have went like this, right? But what I want to do is make it more interesting. Take those notes back a little bit and chop it up. So you can hear that they're separate. That's what the whole technique does. So in the context of the beat, it sounds really cool. Like right here, I could have had it connect to the next note, but I just cut it. It's just an interesting technique to use to create space between your 808 patterns. And over here, I do another trick with my 808 using octaves. An octave is when you go up 12 notes, right? So I'm taking this C and I'm going up to the next C by hitting Control and the up arrow. And that's pretty much an octave switch up in your 808 pattern. You're staying in that same root note, that C, but you're going up higher just to make it more interesting. So again, let's hear it. Now the contrast would be if all those notes were held out, listen to this. It just sounds like it's all just connected in one line. Sometimes that's cool, but sometimes you want to change it up and do a trick like this and chop it up. So that's the whole technique. Let's go on to the next pattern. Let's see what this one sounds like. I took away the hold technique for this pattern. Now we're just extending all the notes out fully. So we start here with the basic 808 pattern. And I'm stepping out of our root note here and going up to the D, which is the next note in the scale. A lot of people think you can only stay in the root note of your chords or your melody. Sometimes it's okay to step out of the root note like that. And then right here, I got this little double hit onto the next beat. Because you could leave it like this. I like to have that little double hit right there. This is pretty much the same pattern in the beginning, and we're doing another double hit right there. Then we do an octave trick, except this time for the octave trick, we're doing an 808 roll. And to do an 808 roll, you want to come in here, you want to go into half step. Then you can see you have a smaller grid here, right? It allows for more notes to be fit in. So what you do is you just fill it up like that. And that's the 808 roll, up an octave. So that's two tricks. We're going up an octave, and we're rolling it. Then right here, we come back to our root note at the C and we jump up out of the root note to the G right here. The G is the fifth in the C minor scale. And if you wanna better understand the music theory terms that I'm using, that's what I got that online class for. And then again, we go up an octave right here at the end for the C. It's like a staircase, the C up to the G up to the C. So let's hear that in context again. Now let's go 
on to the next pattern. So this is an example of a much more simple 808 pattern. You don't always have to fill up each and every note with an 808 or a roll or an octave and just boom, boom, boom. It could just be some simple notes. And I'm also doing the whole technique because if you look right here, I cut it off right there. That's the technique that I like to do with the clap and the 808. Once the clap hits, I cut the 808 off. So let's hear it, right? The clap hits right here. That's when I cut the 808 off. Same thing right here. The clap is going to hit right here. So I cut the 808 off right at the clap. Moving on right here. We already know what that is. Simple octave jump in the 808 pattern just to make it more interesting. Then right here, I have these double notes from the C to the G and the G to the G. Again, that's going from the root note up to the fifth. So pretty much we're keeping it simple. We're cutting it off at the clap in the beginning. We do a nice little octave jump. Now I got some double notes and we're jumping up to the G. So let's hear that in context. Now for the final pattern. Let's hear that. This is an example of pretty much the opposite of simple. Now I'm really filling up a bunch of notes in the 808 pattern. Look at the difference here, right? It's a minimal amount of notes. Then this one, we're kind of like filling the whole thing up, right? Sometimes it's cool to start an octave up like this. Because you can see in all the other patterns, my octave jump didn't come until further into the 808 pattern. Sometimes what I like to do is start it an octave up and then drop it down. And what I'm doing, again, is a double hit right here. You see? Down to another double hit, an octave below. And this technique is I'm putting the 808 on the clap. Some people are always like, are you allowed to like layer the 808 with the clap? Can you put them on top of each other? Of course. Like, listen to this. This note and the clap hit at the same time, and it sounds fine. And then again, that whole technique, instead of having it hold out, I cut it short right there. So there's like a nice little pause before the next 808 pattern that's up an octave with the double hit right here. Then again, that double hit down. Then we come over to the end right here. Again, that relationship between the fifth in the scale and the root note, the G and the C. I'm just filling up these last four notes in the end just to make it busy and just to wrap up the pattern. So we go to the fifth, go down to the double hit right here at the C, then go back up to the G. So that's an example of a much more busy 808 pattern. You know, we start out with an octave up, lots of double hits. And then again, at the end, we wrap up filling up all the notes between the C and the G. So let's hear that in context. So that's a bunch of different 808 techniques that we just went over. You know, we got the whole technique here. We got octave jumps. We got the simple pattern where it cuts off at the clap. We got the busy pattern right here, with the double notes everywhere. We got the roll pattern right here. And then we're going out of the root note. It's up to you how you want to use it. Remember, there's no rules. You could be as simple or as busy as you want. But just always keep in mind, don't, don't ever think that you're only limited to just staying with the root note. You can always do a roll here and there. You can do an octave jump. You could go to different notes in the scale. It's really about you experimenting and figuring out how you want your 808 to sound with the rest of your song thank you all for watching and make sure to sign up for my online class now chamberscourses.com so much exclusive content that you will never find anywhere else i'm going in depth teaching you guys music theory full-length production courses whether it's for rmb whether it's for trap music so thank you to everyone who's already signed up already and to everyone else looking to improve their skill as a producer no matter what level you are i highly recommend my online class otherwise if you like the drums that i used in this video today that's the undeniable drum kit and i go to for trap music every single time all the links will be available in the description and in the comment section for you so thank you all for watching subscribe if you're new if you have any suggestions for future tutorials please drop it in the comment section and i will see you all in the next video peace